As you can see, can you be fast on a controller in Dirt Rally 2.0? Yes. Yes, you can. Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. My name is PJ and today I'll show you how to be fast on a controller in Dirt Rally 2.0. I'm going to take you on a live run through one of these stages and give you a couple of tips and tricks you can use ahead of your next rally. And we are going to go into time trial and just to prove you can be fast on a controller, I'm going to the fastest stage in the game, which is in Scotland. We're going to use the fastest car in the game, which is the Ford Fiesta R5 Mark II. Scotland is a high speed, very smooth gravel location, so this is a great place to test out the capabilities of a controller so make sure that your controller is all set up properly so you need to go into input and then you go here and then you go into customize device right here i have a full guide on this on my channel you can subscribe to check it out but for now let's just give you the cliff notes so essentially i like to put everything at 100 and zero in terms of the triggers and the clutch and everything else so that i have the full range of motion and performance out of my controller which is all absolutely excellent and then your steering sensitivity i like to maximize this but i put my linearity down a bit so i get the full range of motion but it's not dramatic when i turn so i have more nuanced control than you get with the default settings and then on the vibration and feedback i whack everything up to maximum because one of the advantages of using a controller over a wheel is that you can feel the back of the car a lot more a lot more easily as well you can feel the steering a lot better on a steering wheel, but you can feel the back end of the car a lot better with the controller. And with an Xbox controller, you can also feel things through the triggers as well. So you can feel when the tires are about to slip, which is very important under braking. Three minutes 42, that's absolutely fine. And I like to use bumper cam as well. So here we go. As we fire it up. And the thing that I find is the main difference between the controller and the wheel is you can have more refined control of the steering on the wheel, but you can have faster control of the steering on a controller. You can also have faster and more refined control of the throttle and the brakes on the controller as well. If you've got a controller with very good triggers, like the Xbox One controller or the Xbox Series X controller, which I'm using right here, and the thing that I find is in the high speed sections you will have a bit of an advantage in a wheel because you can make smaller steering movements whereas on a pad you kind of have to make corrections all the time but in the lower speed sections I think a pad can be just as good because you have greater feeling over the brakes you can see that's my wheel ghost in front of me and I'm not far off it and that is a very fast time that is close to I think top 10 on this leaderboard in particular if I am if I am right but the main thing is one thing that I really like to do and it's not obvious that when I'm when you're looking at here on the screen but I essentially like to pre-select my gears so I'm using manual gears here and I'm also using clutch but with manual gears here I am essentially pre-selecting my gears and by that I mean I'm hovering my thumb over the next gear that I expect to be in so if I expect to shift up if I expect to shift up I'm hovering my my right thumb over the gear, the gear up button and if I expect to shift down I hover it over the gear down button that means I can shift faster than starting in a neutral position which is very important because that way I can quickly go through the gears and shift them as quick as I can on a wheel even on the Formula One wheel that I use but obviously the biggest difference between a wheel and controller is in the steering and on a steering wheel you can obviously have fairly refined control but the great thing about using a pad is that you can counter steer very quickly because you can go from full range on one side to full range on the other side and another thing that you're not seeing right here because I don't have a camera focused on the controller is that I'm not holding the steering for long. I'm essentially tapping it in certain directions just to coast the car in a single direction. And I'm tapping from zero to full lock fairly quickly, but the turning isn't so dramatic because I have set up my controller in the controller settings to not be so dramatic as I go over the Cindy jump. 
and then just ease off the throttle as I get through. There you go. But fundamentally, the way to be fast on a controller is the same as to be fast on a wheel. You need to have an understanding of the car, you need to have an understanding of the stage, and you need to have an understanding of the fundamentals of driving fast in Dirt Rally 2.0. Now, if you need tips on all of those, I have a video on how to be fast in Dirt Rally 2.0. It's the most popular video on my channel, so you've probably seen it already, but if you haven't, go check it out. It brings you all these fundamental tips. But as you can see, can you be fast on a controller in Dirt Rally 2.0? Yes. Yes, you can. So, there you go. Let's hit the time, and then let's see where I finished on the board. But if you need more tips and tricks, you can subscribe for more, and I wish you the best of luck in your next rally.